welcome everyone we are discussing problems of different competitive exam for example ssc cgl psc bank cat mat nda so we are discussing the chapter profit and loss profit and loss i will discuss only the shortcut method because you have to solve it in minimum time so look at the problem <coughs> if cost price of m articles is equal to selling price of n articles then find percentage of <coughs> gain or loss so problem is so cost price of a materials is equal to selling price of a materials so selling price of a articles equals to cost price of a materials now selling price of one articles equals to cost price of a by a articles So let cost price equals to rupees x. So cost price of so what is selling price m by n. Suppose take it one rupees one. <coughs> so let cost price of one article equals to rupees. So what is selling price of one article? So it is rupees m by n. So what is profit? M by n minus one. If m by n greater than one, then it is profit. If it is negative, then it is loss. so what is percentage of profit m by n minus 1 profit by selling price 1 into 100 or loss also if m by n less than 1 then you are getting so you remember the theory so what is our theory m by n minus 1 into 100 you only remember this so gain or loss percentage the cost per the cost price of a materials is equal to selling price of a materials then percentage of gain and loss equals to this one so you have to remember is problem now look application this is problem of competitive exam selling price of 21 articles equals to <coughs> sorry cost price of 21 articles equals to selling price of 18 articles find gain or loss so what is m m equals to 20 And n equals to eighteen minus n. N is the selling price. It is at the denominator. So percentage of gain. 
or cross equals to 21 by 18 minus 1 into 100. So, 3 by 18 into 100. So, this is 9 and this is 150. So, 1 then 6, 60. So, 4 by 9 percent. So, percentage is given here. So, 150 by 9. 54. So, 150 by 9. So, 6, 0. 54 again 6, 0. So, this is 6 by 9. Or 16, 2 by 3. If it is positive, then it is here. It is here. Since it is positive, it is here. So, you remember the formula. Cp of 21 articles. So, sp. Sp at the denominator. N at the denominator. You remember this. So, you recall this formula and put the value and it will take minimum time. Now we consider one problem, most important problem, but it is given in slightly different form. So look, a man sold 33 meters of clothes and has a gain of gain equal to SP of 11 meter. So, he has, he has sold 33 meter of clothes and what is his profit SP of 11 meter. So, what is gain? Gain equals to SP of 33 meters minus CP of 33 meter of block. Now what is gain? Gain is SP of 11 meter. So SP of 11 meter equals to SP of what is gain? SP of 11 meter. So 33 meter minus CP of 33 meter. So, CP of 33 meter equals to SP of, SP of, this is 2 and this is 22 meter, transfer to this form. Now you are getting the previous formula. CP of 33 meter, so A equals to 33 n equals to 22. So, profit, what is profit? m by n minus 1 into 100. So, look at the formula. 33 minus 22 by 22 into 100. So, 11 by 22 into 100. So, 50%. So, percent profit percentage is equal to 50 percent. So, look it again. A man sold 33 meter of clothes and has a gain of SP of 11 meter. So, gain equals to SP of 33 meter minus CP of 33 meter. So, Again, you put value of gain, then you are getting a relation between CP and SP. Put value of M and N and you get the rest. Now, now one more problem. A vendor brought banana at 6 for rupees 10. 
and sold at 4 for rupees 6. Fine gain or loss percentage. Now, what is CP? CP equals to 10 by 6. 10 by 6. What is SP? CP of 1 article. CP of 1 article. And SP of 1 article, that is 6 by 4. So, this is 5 by 3 and this is 3 by 2. Now, which one is better? This is 1.5 and this is 1.6 approximately. So, SP is less than CP. So, you are getting loss. So, loss equals to 3 by 2 minus 5 by 3. What is loss percentage? You can write it 3 by 2 minus loss percentage. So, 5 by 3 CP minus SP. 5 by 3 minus 3 by 2 by CP. CP is 5 by 3 into 100. Now, this is 5 by 3 and this is 3 by 2. So, 6 else here. So, 10 minus 9. 10 minus 9. So, 1 by 6 into 3 by 5 into 100. So, this is 2 and this is 20. So, 10 percent. So, what is loss? Loss is 10 percent. Now, to avoid fraction, you can also solve it by taking LCM of number of bananas. What is number of bananas? This is 1, 6 and this is 4. So, what is LCM? LCM of 6 and 4 because to 12. So, what is CP of 12 bananas? CP of 12 bananas. So, 5 by 3 into 12. So, this is 20. So, SP of 12 bananas. 3 by 2 into 12. So, this is 18. 18. So, to avoid fraction, you get LCM. So, look, SP is less than CP. So, what is loss percentage? So, CP minus SP by CP into 100. So, 20 minus 18 by 20 into 100. So, you are getting 10. So, you may use LCM of banana solid. So, to avoid fraction. Now, we consider one more problem for competitive exam. So, exactly same that of earlier. A vendor sells 10 clips for a rupee. So, 10 clips for a rupee. So, selling price of one clips, one clip equals to one by ten. Rupees one by ten. Suppose he buy x clips in a rupee. So what is CP of one clip equals to one by CP of 1. X clips would be 1. So, what is 1 clip? Yes. So, profit or loss. So, SP minus C. We are taking 1 by 10 minus 1 by S. So, this is or loss. If it is negative, then loss. So, what is percentage? 1 by 10 
minus 1 by x by c 1 by x into 100 equals to and profit equals to 40 percent. So, this equals to 40 percent. So, 40 percent equals to so x minus 10 x minus 10 by 10 into 100. 1 by x is cancelled. This is 40. So, we are getting 400 equals to x minus 10 into 100. So, this implies 4 equals to x minus 10. This implies x equals to 40. So, what is the value of x? The value of x is 40. So, this is profit because it is given that it is profit. So, only profit. 1 by 10 minus 1 by x. So, he buy. So, 14 clips in rupees 1. So, how many clips did he buy? So, he buy 14 clips in 1 rupee. So, today through this video, I have solved 4 problems of competitive exam. This is problems of aptitude test. And you can easily solve it in very, very minimum time if you know the shortcut. So, thank you for today.